Yeah, so anything? with the white runners also we get what we refer to as the pre-nuncial hump. Excuse the accent, I can strangle the Queen's English beautifully. Yeah, but it's designed to keep this heavy head, so bulk grazer, keep the head down. And what makes it difficult for them when you get flooding is that it's, it's difficult for them to cross water. Uh, we had an incident a couple of years ago in Kruger where we thought the two animals were poached because there were two carcasses right in the water. But when we got, Shangan trackers are incredible. When we got the trackers there, these two bulls had a fight, a territorial fight, which you don't see often because most of it is settled through intimidation. So when it goes over to confrontation, neither one of the animals want to give way. And these two bulls were so tired that they ran down the embankment into the Crocodile River and they drowned okay. because they could not lift their heads. Now the beautiful thing about black rhinos is they need to lift their heads to get to brows. Okay. It's a very strong muscle on either side of the spine. So what we would call fillets, probably a very bad example. <laughs> yeah, but they've got to, they can lift their heads and therefore cross water easier than what uh, white rhinos can.